In America, there were two different views of uh, what the issues were all about. For European Americans, they wanted freedom from England. For black Americans, they wanted freedom from white people uh, telling them what to do, enslaving them, or uh, mistreating them. Blacks really had a lot of hope. They saw that uh, maybe for their children and uh, their children's children, it would be freedom. That motivated a lot of people. During my research, I came across one name that really struck me, Peter Salem. Trained in a local militia, it's been said that he was a great marksman. So what we know about Peter Salem is that he was born about 1750 in Framingham, Massachusetts, to uh, an enslaved family, Peter Salem's owner. He gives Peter the option that he could have his freedom if he joins the militia. Peter Salem agrees to fight on behalf of American independence with the understanding that he'll be freed in exchange for his service. There are a lot of ways in which military service during the Revolutionary War for a lot of African Americans was the first time they had an opportunity to make a life for themselves. So many of them were feeling the new status of freedom for the first time, and they were feeling that through this military combat that they were taking part in. In June 1775, during the siege of Boston, Peter Salem finds himself on the front lines. Bloodshed has happened at Lexington and Concord. Now we're moving forward. We're at Bunker Hill. The British have seized Boston now. The port has been closed down. Massachusetts was in an upheaval. The uh, idea behind Bunker Hill was to sort of foil the British. The battle was a very, very bloody battle. Toward the end of the day, the Americans started to run out of ammunition. Uh, Major Pitcairn of the British Royal Marines, he tried to organize uh, the troops that were left. He was the highest ranking officer left on the field that day that had not been killed or wounded. And he gathered all his soldiers and was uh, telling them, hey, we got to show them what real soldiers could do. At that moment, Peter Salem lines up his rifle, pulls the trigger, and makes history. June 1775, the Battle of Bunker Hill. Reportedly, British Major John Pitcairn yells, the day is ours, and leads the final charge. At that same moment, many would claim black soldier Peter Salem raises his rifle and puts a bullet through the Major's head. This is a big, big deal because, you know, here's an African-American who is part of the killing of a, a significant figure. While the Patriots lose this battle, the British suffer significant casualties. And for the nascent Continental Army, killing a British officer is a confidence booster. As news spreads, Peter Salem emerges as a hero. There's this, this element of surprise that's really fascinating to me. And, and I think that Peter Salem's story reflects both the reality that black men were just as good as any others when it came to fighting this war, but also the reality that Continental Army officials were really shocked that that was the case. They didn't believe, they didn't expect that Peter Salem would be a brave soldier. And so it was notable to them that he fought bravely, that a black man fought with bravery. In 1786, artist John Trumbull immortalizes the Battle of Bunker Hill. The painting includes a black soldier. Some have claimed this is Peter Salem, but you might not even notice. He's down in the corner in a dark shadow, and because his skin is dark, you can hardly see him there. In some of the history books I've seen, they, they, they would crop off Peter Salem. I think the reason that uh, the black contributions to the success of the Revolutionary War are not acknowledged has to do with the fact that certain people do not want to give black Americans any credit for helping us win our freedom from England. They want to minimize any contributions that blacks have made and try to portray us as savages, and, and that's not true.